All right, girlies, listen up. We don't need no man to help us get a dresser from Goodwill, bring it home, and flip it within five hours and sell it for $500. Let me show you how. LOL, I mean, no, my husband's great and all, but he wasn't home. And people ask me, how do I maneuver furniture by myself? Well, there you have it. It's not pretty, but it can be done. So I got this basset dresser from Goodwill for 30 bucks. And for some reason, somebody nailed some wooden planks to the top of it. I just have no idea why that would ever be done, but it's all right. We can simply remove those, stick a screwdriver under it, and use a hammer, and they'll pop right up. I don't want to say pop right up because it was kind of hard to get them off, but yeah, they'll come off. But then I did have to remove some of the nails, and I did destroy a little bit of the top of the dresser, but nothing wood filler can't fix. Got to scrape off all that glue and gunk. I can't wait for y'all to see this finished look because it's not even going to resemble the same dresser. All right, on the top four drawers, I did sand them down to the natural wood. Probably a wood veneer. So be careful to not sand right through it. I used like 60 grit to remove the paint and then 220 to smooth. Scuff sanded everything else with 220 grit to remove the brush stroke lines. I did prime the top. Yeah, so it was just too wet outside. You know I hate to paint by hand, but I just did it. You know, you really don't have to have a paint sprayer. But I do suggest using a foam roller when you're painting large surfaces. Like right here on the paint wash, obviously you're going to have to use a brush. But everywhere else, I would definitely use a foam roller or a paint gun. Because unless you're like, I don't know, Picasso, you're going to have paint brush lines. It's kind of just inevitable no matter what you do. But OMG, here's the final look. I never even thought it could look this good. Let me know what you think.